And we're back with Mayor Przicki and Chief Tracy uh, talking about uh, more of the factors that has led to this incredible decrease in crime. Um, the next one we want to talk about is intelligence-led policing. So what is intelligence-led policing? Well, we talked about in the first segment where you do uh, analytics of where crime's happening, who's doing it, time of day. You do comparative analysis, seven day, 28 day, and, and uh, year to date uh, analysis, and then you work off that. But also in addition to that, we're in a city of 72,000 people, and I've worked in two other cities, and I've done consulting in other cities as Detroit and Baltimore. and. Uh, uh, Gary, Indiana, and some of these things that you look at, every city has a very small percentage of people committing the majority of the crime. And you, you have to take a look at those individuals and you can identify them by the type of crimes that they're committing and uh, also who their associates are. And it usually comes out to one half of one half a percent very small number. So it could be just a little over 100 people that are committing 60 70 percent of the violent crime. So what you do is you focus on those individuals because the community knows who they are. And if you keep the same officers in the same area, they know who they are. Right. And then we identify these individuals not only to make sure that they're not committing the crimes, to try to get them the help to get them out of crime, but if they want to cause carnage in the community, we have to take uh, action against those individuals if they can continue to shoot, rob, or do other violent crimes in the community. And you don't have to arrest everyone to get the ones doing something wrong. Go after and be very surgical on the ones that are committing most of the violence. And that has helped here in what we've done in Wilmington, has helped in other places that are executing this plan properly. Yeah, what I heard on the what I heard on the campaign two years ago when I was running mm -hmm. is people were upset that they kept seeing different police officers in the in the neighborhood. And when you think about that, the uh, only way for uh, for a department to be effective is for there to be a relationship built up in the communities. And if you keep moving people around, right. you never get to know a guy or right. like a guy. You don't trust a guy. Yeah. I mean, tr you know, community trust is hard enough for the police departments across the country. But if you start to see the same people all the time and interact with them and realize this guy really has my best interest, yeah. you'll, you'll cooperate with them. Right. And so right away, the, the chief talked about district integrity, which is the same people in that same district. And, and their accountability is a consequence. Pretty hard to make a guy accountable when he's bouncing all over the city. Right. Right, right. And so that kind of stability has been very attractive to, to my point of view. And, and that was my next question that I wanted to ride on, or wanted to ask was, what information is, um, through intelligent policing is bounced back to the officers? Yeah, like how can people, yeah, like well, how are you getting, what's the best information and how, how are people contributing and what's, what's most useful? Are you talking about my officers or are you talking about the community? The com oh, both. 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 Okay, so. Here's the thing, we're very regimented, we're very systematic in the police department, not only with our crime statistics and how we're doing things. Mm -hmm. uh, we have executive management meetings on Mondays, in the morning, on Wednesdays, and also on Fridays in the afternoon because you want to get ready for the weekend. Right. I have a CompStat meetings on Thursdays. I also have intelligence in meetings on Monday morning to get us ready with all our federal, state, local partners uh, with uh, Newcastle County. What's going in, what's leaking back and forth, and what can we do about some of these issues that happen? It's coordination, mm -hmm. it's communication with all our other partners. And then what we do is we get them to the roll calls to our officers every time we turn them out. My real-time crime center, my detectives, my captains, even myself, come down to the roll call, and we give all the intelligence information so they can be part of the strategy. Right. And the reason, they're the front end of our business, the officers. And there's a lot of officer safety issues out there with some dangerous people that we're looking at. And if they don't know what we're doing inside with our strategies, then we're doing them a disservice. So they get part of the plan, we share as much information as possible with them, and they go out and help execute the plan. It was something we weren't doing before. And then when it comes to the community, we're gonna get into some of those things with, with a community engagement, which is going into all the community meetings and being transparent as possible. And then the mayor and I released something last year in February where we started putting the CompStat right out online so everybody can review what we see. Right. And then also Crime View, where it's not a comparative analysis, but people in neighborhoods, uh, the mayor uh, actually gave us a blessing to put this Crime View out. And you know, we pay a nominal fee to, a, to an outside vendor to put real-time crime that's in each neighborhood that you can geofence areas and the community can look up that crime. So they don't have to wait to a community meeting and say, hey, chief, what's going on in the neighborhood? Right. They know, and the better informed community and it being a partnership is gonna help us reduce crime because we're all in this together and we all want the same thing. Yeah. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any positive stories that Zach and myself need to talk about, be sure to submit it at stories.wilmington.love.